Hi, it's Paul here at Transport Vlog, and today I am at Strathfield Station. I'm just about to board the special sea sets uh, tour up to the Blue Mountains and then to the Hawkesbury River. This is organised by SETS, that's the Sydney Electric Train Society. Uh, the train should arrive in about half an hour or so. I actually saw it at Central. Uh, it's an eight car set comprising of uh, C set C1 and C5. So this video is going to capture the day. So if you are on the tour, then it will be a great reminder of the tour. If you're not on it, then you'll, you'll get to see what you missed. And also this is going to be a really lovely uh, farewell for the, for the C sets. So enjoy watching this video. So the date of this C sets tour was Saturday the 6th of March 2021. And the C sets started at Strathfield Station. We then meandered our way through the Sydney Western suburbs to Penrith and then onto the Blue Mountains line where we winded our way up to Mount Victoria Station. Now I was a little distracted at Strathfield so I missed part of the train coming in but I did catch some of it as you'll see in a moment but you'll see the complete train later on in this video. So here we are leaving Strathfield. Now approaching Parramatta. now picked up speed as we pass through Blacktown station overtaking a Waratah train. Here is a view of the upper deck of the train. You can also hear the sound of the motors very clearly here too. We're now coming through Penrith, which is where most suburban trains on the Western Line terminate. Now about to cross the Nepean River, and this also marks the end of the Greater Sydney area. We now start our ascent into the Blue Mountains and it gets much more scenic from here.
possible and with the urban train behind us, we cannot hold the urban up any longer than possible. So please, once we hear the first whistle, please return to the train immediately. This is leaving Glenbrook station. Now approaching Blacksland station. Now at Springwood Station, this train stopped at a few stations on the way to allow people to take photos. No C-set or any other type of fluted steel suburban train, such as the K-sets or the now withdrawn S-sets, have ever been beyond Springwood Station. So this is the first time this type of train has travelled further up the Blue Mountains line. For the C-set, it will almost certainly be the last time too. Another photo stop, this time at Woodford Station. So this is the lower deck. Notice the fixed seating. Most Sydney trains have reversible seating so you can flip the seats forward or backwards dependent on your preference. These C-sets were a prototype for the Tangara trains which also have fixed seating. I will be doing another video which will go more into the history of the C-sets. We'll have a full tour of the train, both the lower and the upper deck. So look out for that. There'll be a link in the description when that video is available. Now there were about 250 people on this tour, but the majority of them were in the first four coaches. And also in the rear set, they locked the doors to the last three coaches. So it was very difficult to get off at the intermediate stations. You had to walk through to uh, coach five. And there was a reason why they did this. And I'll explain this later in this video. The C sets were refurbished in the 1990s as part of the City Decker program. This probably included the fluorescent lighting you can see here and the current ceiling and the PA speaker that you can see here. Probably also included this current floor that we have here. There's a nice close up of it. These trains have been air conditioned right from the start. There's the air conditioning vent there. Now passing through Lawson Station, you can see a V-set on the other platform. Now about to pass through Lyra station.
It was a snack bar where you can get alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and muffins and also hot cross buns. Now at Katoomba station and as promised here's some footage of the front of the train with the sets farewell to the C sets headboard. This is C5. <laughs> now at the very front of the train, and as you can see, this is where all the action is, including quite a number of other transport vloggers. <laughs> now approaching Blackheath level crossing, listen out for the train horn. <laughs> Now at Mount Victoria Station, which is as far as this train will go. In a moment it will pull forward slightly to the end of the platform. Eight signal levers. If you know what these used to do, please do let me know in the comments below. Now at the other end, this is set C1 as the crew prepare this train for its return to Strathfield. leaving Mount Victoria, listen out for the distinctive chopper thyristor sounds. Did you know that you could look out from the back of the train? You can do this on the K-set as well. So we're now approaching Valley Heights. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the doors on the last three carriages were locked shut. And the reason for this was because the train would stop short at each station to allow people to jump off the front and get good photos. And so you can see what happens here as I'm in the last carriage, we're going to stop short of the platform. So now leaving Valley Heights station, look out for the platform. Your attention, your attention. 
Now at Lapston Station. Now leaving the Blue Mountains and crossing the Nepean River back into Greater Sydney. Now coming through Blacktown Station, unlike the outward journey where we sped through, this time we got stopped on a signal. Now speeding through Parramatta, which in itself is really unusual because almost every train stops at Parramatta. So from Parramatta we do a little diversion down to Fairfield, so taking the junction towards Marylands, Fairfield and Cabramatta and then reversing and coming back the same way and then taking the junction towards Granville and then back to Strathfield. So we're now on the junction that will take us towards Marylands and Fairfield. As there are no toilets on the C set, there was quite a long queue for the toilets at Fairfield Station, as you can see here. Just seven minutes was allowed to jump off the train, cross the footbridge, go to the toilet and get back on the train. That was never going to happen. So we left Fairfield Station late and was then behind the All Stations train. So it was a very slow journey back to Strathfield, but I don't think anybody really minded. felt like this sea set was suspended in mid-air as we waited on this bridge here for two or three minutes before we got access to the line to Granville. Below are the lines towards Parramatta. These were the lines that we travelled on a little earlier on our way down to Fairfield. joining the main line towards Strathfield. As we pass Flemington Maintenance Depot, you can see four C sets just here. The train then reversed at Strathfield and we went via Epping Hornsby to Hawkesbury River Station. The train then came back the same way to finish the tour at Strathfield Station. So this is leaving Strathfield Station and taking the junction for the line towards Epping. Now crossing the Parramatta River at Rhodes. Look at the beautiful view!
now coming through Hornsby Station. It was open too, the staff. Set day, it's all a bit sad. There's Aussie John. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's got off the train. Huh? Now on the return leg and about to cross the Parramatta River again at Rhodes. <laughs> so the back coach towards Hawkesbury River has now become the front coach on the return leg, and as you can hear, it's quite a lot busier than it was earlier. Attention all passengers, we will now be arriving at Strathfield where this train will be terminated and will be removed from service. All passengers will need to alight at Strathfield Station and will have to change for other service. Thank you so much for travelling on the last season service and thank you for travelling with the Sydney and Exeter. I'm staying on till that. I'm fine, man. I'm not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
there they are, set C1 and C5, the final C sets, fading into the distance for the very last time. So that was my video of the Chopper to the Summit C sets day. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed filming it and being out there on the day. Hopefully it captures some of the atmosphere of the day as well. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. And do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.